In recent weeks we've done The Sopranos, The Wire, The Walking Dead, The Mayans, and today we're doing what this channel's all about, Sons of Anarchy. So what are the 10 highest rated IMDB episodes of this show? Let's dive straight into it, there's not much more time to waste on the matter. So in 10th place, we're going to have Hands. We've got Hands, damn it. Season 4, episode 10. Um, gets a 9.2 out of 10, 3,000 people vote it. Um, give you a quick run through what happened in this episode. Uh, of course, Clay puts the hit on Tara in motion. Jax manages to prevent Tara from getting kidnapped or killed, and uh, our hand gets destroyed. We then have Gemma confronting Clay about this, and Clay beats her to a bloody, bloody pulp. Absolutely brutal. Um, Clay shuts the doors. You know, you got emotional scenes between Jax and Tara. Um, the rest of the club's pretty much in turmoil, man. The whole Galindo beefs, it's just absolutely insane. But yeah, 9.2. So I'm, I'm noticing a trend here that a lot of like the top rated shows, like a lot of the lower rated episodes of the top 10 are like 9.2. Let's see if Sons can uh, surpass some of these. 9.3 is up next, and we have got the season 5 finale. Um... I mean, I actually think this is one of the weaker season finales. Um, in this episode, of course, Clay's drummed out the club in the previous episode. In this one, Jack sets him up for the murder. Bobby leaves the club. Tara gets it, goes to jail. You know, Lee Torrix causing ha havoc. You've got the tongue being bit off. You've so much crazy shit going down. Damn it! In this episode, uh, but. I it's an alright episode. I think for a season finale, it is a little bit weak, maybe. Or maybe I need to rewatch it, even though I've watched it about a million times. But yeah, that's what comes in ninth. Um, season 6, episode 11. Tension mounts as the club makes a bold move to finally go to guns. You've got a prison break scene. You've Clay's death. You've Galen's death. What more is there to say? You've got like the whole potential of Tara Ratten. The, the the break itself is great, you know. Just the take down of the prison transport, man, great. You never, like, this show just delivers every time. Seventh place, staying at a 9.3. We've got the season two finale. Um, nah, tre bloody. As Sam Crow attempts to get rid of Ethan Sobel, they're in the league permanently. Familiar faces prevent new challenges. Um... And this got a 9.3 as well. Season 2 finale, for me, one of the best season finales of the show. Uh, I think there's, pro for me personally, probably only one better than it. I'm being honest. Well, that'll be on this list. I'm convinced it will be. 9.4 up next. We have got Season 7, Episode 12, Red Rose. Another great episode. Of course, you've got the deaths of Gemma. Answer and Juice, Wendy and Jackson reconciled, damn it. and obviously in this episode, things aren't looking good for Jackie Boy. Absolutely not looking good for Jackie Boy, but a mayhem foot pending um, as well. But let's just keep Sam Crow distant for that. Let's not tell them. Chibs, this is what I want, brother. Testify. But uh, yeah, a lot of deaths. Jack's finally confronting Gemma. Great scenes, great stuff. Moving into... Season 7, episode 11. 9.4 K. By God. As the whole of the Sons of Anarchy organization bears down on the Outlaw Motorcycle Club's California based Redwood original chapter, Jackson comes face to face with an extremely unpleasant reality. It was a great episode. Police chase, so much going on. Um, he tells the club that Gemma is, in fact, the one that killed Tara. Got that scene with him and Nero at the end. Fab Dabby Dozy, man. Honestly, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant episode. Can't dispute that. Uh, up next, we have got Season 5, Episode 3, Laying Pipe, A Desperate Situation, Test Familiar, and Club Bonds, of course. The death of Opie. Another episode where the, the, where the club is in jail. I do like the episodes where they're in jail. For me, is it the best one where they're in jail? Yes, absolutely. Um, I mean, there's not really that many where they're all in jail, like a decent portion of them, but, you know, like, if you think of it, season 2, episode 7, that's another good one. 
even though on, like, even even the season seven premiere with Jacks being in there, I, I enjoyed. Uh, but yeah, R.I.P. Nine point five, season six, episode thirteen. So they've rated this season finale quite strong. This was another good finale. Not denying that. Um, Jax has to handle some unhappy customers as the weapon deal goes through Mike's organization. Um, meanwhile, Tara finds a way to avoid jail without giving up the MC. Has to go through Mike's organization. Who the fuck's Mike? Mike. Who's Mike? Who the fuck is Mike? I have no idea who Mike is. Right, 9.5, we have got Papa's Good, the series finale, Sam Crow present, Jack Teller takes the final steps towards fulfilling his father's legacy, and then the final episode. What do better 9.5? It does, a 9.7. Season 3, episode 13, NS, a 9.7. Out of 10, that is what I call a very, very great and high rating. Phenomenal, guys. What a show. What a time to be alive. Take us back to this show being on TV. Anyway, peace. <laughs>